I knew of Jaron Reed, but didn't really know his game, so I started watching it. And the more I see, the more I like. Of course, for a defensive tackle, it all starts in the phone booth. Beat the guy across from you and make the play. And check out Reed. He stuffs that center into the backfield. And look at that arm extension. He gets him out there, separates himself from the blocker so he can set him and make the play. He also goes down the line and pokes the ball out. And the Broncos lose one and almost the football thanks to Jaron Reed. The next step for a defensive tackle is making plays outside the phone booth, like off tackle or outside, and here the Bills are running a quarterback sweep. And they're blocking down on Reed with their left tackle, but as soon as he feels that block, he is spinning out of it. He has really got a feel for the spin move, and he is spinning out of it, and he's searching and destroying, crumbles a blocker, and he's stopping Josh Allen for next to nothing. Jaron came out of Alabama really raw on the pass rush, but he has learned his lessons well, and we can see that right here. First of all, he draws the blocker's hands, and then watch his right arm and hand. He rips right through him, squeezes and turns the corner, and Derek Carr is throwing up a prayer. A wise old coach once told me that turnovers start in the pocket. And as per usual, that wise old coach was right. More pass rush, and this time the Chiefs are running a TE, where the tackle goes first and the end loops around him, the tackle being Jaron Reed. And the Broncos get paid too. They do a pretty good job of picking this thing up. And at this point in the play, Teddy Bridgewater is still in the pocket. Here's Jaron over here. Now watch Bridgewater, in particular his feet. He takes that one step towards breaking contain and going outside. And look at Jaron. He is already one step into his spin to get outside and to protect the Chiefs flanks. Look at that. Now, if you can use your eyes like a chameleon's and look at them both at the same time, the steps are almost simultaneous. You can't think about that. It just has to be a feel thing, and it puts Jaron in perfect position to force Bridgewater into the world's ugliest throw. Jaron Reed, he's instinctive, he's athletic, and most important, he's active.